When there is crime in society, there is no justice. Justice means minding one's own business and not meddling with other men's concerns. The worst form of injustice is pretended justice. When there is an income tax, the just man will pay more and the unjust less on the same amount of income. Justice in the life and conduct of the state is possible only as first it resides in the hearts and souls of the citizens. Nothing can be more absurd than the practice that prevails in our country of men and women not following the same pursuits with all their strengths and with one mind, for thus, the state instead of being whole is reduced to half. Our purpose in founding our state was not to promote the happiness of a single class, but, so far as possible, of the whole community. Our idea was that we were most likely to justice in such a community, and so be able to decide the question we are trying to answer. We are therefore at the moment trying to construct what we think is a happy community by securing the happiness not of a select minority, but of a whole. Do not expect justice where might is right. Perfect wisdom has four parts, wisdom, the principle of doing things aright, justice, the principle of doing things equally in public and private, fortitude, the principle of not fleeing danger, but meeting it, temperance, the principle of subduing desires and living moderately. O youth or young man, who fancy that you are neglected by the gods, know that if you become worse, you shall go to worse souls, or if better to the better. In every succession of life and death, you will do and suffer what like may fitly suffer at the hands of like. This is the justice of heaven. Justice in the individual is now defined analogously to justice in the state. The individual is wise and brave in virtue of his reason and spirit respectively, he is disciplined when spirit and appetite are in proper subordination to reason. He is just in virtue of the harmony which exists when all three elements of the mind perform their proper function and so achieve their proper fulfillment, he is unjust when no such harmony exists. Of all the things of a man's soul which he has within him, justice is the greatest good and injustice the greatest evil. To do injustice is the greatest of all evils. Not to help justice in her need would be an impiety. By education I mean that training in excellence from youth upward which makes a man passionately desire to be a perfect citizen, and teaches him to rule, and to obey, with justice. This is the only education which deserves the name. Justice is having and doing what is one's own. Then not only custom, but also nature affirms that to do is more disgraceful than to suffer injustice, and that justice is equality. The true champion of justice, if he intends to survive even for a short time, must necessarily confine himself to private life and leave politics alone. A man who really fights for justice must lead a private, not a public, life if he is to survive for even a short time. Justice is nothing more than the advantage of the stronger.